Hello, I'm here at Alton Towers Resort. This place is technically my home park, but I've only been here once. And it is like the busiest day ever. For the first ride of the day, we headed up to Hex. Wow, this is loud. Yo, keychain, is this Alton Towers all along? Next up, we headed over to the Dark Forest to get rides on both Rita and 13 before their lines got too long. 13, so last time I was here, it was like two hour wait. Now it's half an hour. We are making progress, guys. Ah yes, the illusion of progress. That was a lovely ride on an hour and a quarter. Not 13, hour and a quarter. Because the half an hour wait that we were promised was a tad bit longer than that. So how would I ever review 13? Well, I'd only be talking about the outdoor section due to some made up legal reasons and just not being bothered to review the indoor section. And for the outdoor section, you do get some pretty good airtime going over those hills and the twists and the turns through the trees quite nice. However, I don't like it because one of the pins on my lanyard got stuck inside the bag deposit. We decided to skip Rita for the meantime due to the extremely long queues and decided to head over to Galactica instead, which was only on a 20 minute queue. Because the Sky Ride has such a long way, we are going to walk through the gardens to get to Galactica. Oh no, this is too good. It is 15 minutes. Galactica is definitely one of the most smooth and graceful roller coasters I've ever been on, as well as that it's quite intense and forceful on those sections when you're on your back. And because of that, I'm going to put it up to a 11 out of 15. Nemesis! Yeah, that, that's, we'll do that later. We're, we're going up to Jewel now. It's now the time in the vlog that I shamelessly get the hidden credit. It's starting the runaway mine train. Welcome back to Shall Not Reviews, and I can't really be bothered to review the runaway mine train. However, there could be some modifications that the park could make. First of all, they could make it a hyper coaster for putting it into a random outer bank followed by a massive caramel bank followed by some weird banky sections turn around stairway to heaven followed by the escalator to hell then some random turns and bam your ride is better you should hire me oh yeah and it is a seven Wicker Man. So that was Wicker Man. Probably what, one of my favourite roller coasters. So, how would I review the Wicker Man? First of all, it does give some incredible airtime moments, but it does also have some rougher moments, which aren't as pleasant, and it's an 11 out of 15. We then headed up to the Forbidden Valley via the Haunted Hollows to get our final rides of the day on Nemesis. So Catherine's looking in the mirror. Oh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Shouldn't make a difference when you normally look in the mirror. Nemesis is so 
good. Oh my god. I'm out of breath right now. I was on the fifth row, so I didn't really get as much G-forces as you do in the back row. So, because we enjoyed Nemesis so much the first time around, we're gonna go again. And this might be one of our last rides of today. Okay, we're doing that free now. So that was back row ride on Nemesis. Oh, God. With five minutes of the park being open to spare, we headed for a fourth and final ride on Nemesis. For some reason, we're trying for a lap four. So that was the end of day one at Alton Towers Oktoberfest. But don't worry, there's also day two. Not going to lie, the Smiler is pretty crazy. Whether you're going through all 14 inversions or the two death airtime pops. Of course, being the epic foodie that I am, I did know my vertical orientation throughout the entire ride. And I will admit, it is now my number one. And for that, it gets a 13 out of 15. Oh, so it's been a pretty short vlog so far from day two, because it's already past 12 o'clock. And I've spent the entire thing in line for this. Wow. The smile. Speaker won't shut up. Next up. We do have Oblivion. Welcome. Right now at Alton Towers, it's October 1st. Just look how big those beer glasses are, they're like 20 foot tall. Gotta get myself near one of them at some point. my first ever spinning coaster, there were actually some moments on it that caught me off guard, most notably here and here. Aside from that though, it is only an 8 out of 15. We are now going to head over to Rita because it's just reopened for like the first time today and it's going to be our last ride of the visit so got to make this one count, you know? And so the race for our final ride on Rita was on, but oh yeah, this happened. So Rita has closed, and that was going to be our last ride anyway, and it, it's gone. So we're going home now, so see ya. So that was the last ride of our visit, and Intamin. So that draws us nicely to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then please do leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to, follow me at Kosashana on Instagram, and bye. Und meine Bratwurst ist lecker. Auf Wiedersehen.